I'm a little fly issue, man. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to day one of Cuba. So this is the opening of day one of me in Santiago de Cuba. I am on my balcony, booby. Balcony. As I said in the previous vlog, we're here because Shagat Tours, you guys can follow them on Instagram by the way, they are just you know promoting the connection between Jamaica and Cuba because they're just like, okay, everyone is traveling to everywhere else in the country except for like Cuba. I mean, one person said that this is not forgotten. So we're gonna walk up and down today, run up and down, do a couple tours, sightsee, visit what's to do here in Cuba. Currently, I am at the Imperial Hotel. It's, I guess, a part of Iberia Star. Yeah, the streets are bustling. This is the view from my, my balcony. You know, this is the view. This is the view. This is the view. You understand? I'm not telling her no lie. A little bird, I could have gone by the building then, but we have to work with it. If I'm walking up, pure walking. Pure walking. It's like in my downtown Kingston. But yeah. Um, so we're gonna walk up and down to the my side, do a couple sightseeing, a couple tours, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me, you know, in this vlog, just to kinda we're gonna see what I keep. This is the outfit. Let me see if we can show you the outfit. Hold on, let me see if we can put it. Can y'all see me? <laughs> this is the outfit. I really, really can't see, but I did a get ready with me on TikTok, so if you want to see the get ready with me or if you want to see it, go up on TikTok and check out the get ready. So yeah, that's how that. The room is a little bit of a mess right now. I'm not going to tell you no lie. Last night I made a sleep and I'm going to set your beer chucklings and beer tumbling down. So I'm going to look. Pure ice I dropped from the AC. Pure ice. Just a drop out all over on the bed. Anyways, I have my little fan in here. I have my little fan. Um, cash. My ID, just in case of anything, and my battery pack, and I made that. Me that. Ready for go up on the streets. I was another road, like a white line, and see what Santiago is given. So let's go. Uh, so we made it to breakfast. <coughs> give us a oh, give us a give us a OOTD. Hi guys, good morning. So this is from Sheen. This is from Forever 21 from right. 2016. These are Zara sandals. Right. I just from Sheen, but it's no longer in stock. Sorry. Right. Yeah. That's a birthday bag. I don't remember that from here, so. Okay. Do I need to style? Yes, please give us an old oh. Thank you. The entire set is from Sheen, and you know my gums are from my auntie. Right. Kate Zara's Sheen. Do all them carry the Oh, let me turn this way so you can see my properly. Oh, oh, you want Sheen. Right. Sheen. Dunks from Kate Zara's fashion. Kate Zara's fashion. Zara. Right. For the face. This is some fruits lined up for breakfast. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some green tea and probably some eggs and stuff. Bye bye. I'll see me with it. Cheers. Um. God bless you. Thank you. Sorry guys, I started eating before I showed you breakfast, but I'm having some ginger tea. It's not ginger, mint tea. Green. Oh, green. Right. And just the egg and just the tough bread them from last night. And they gave us Coca Coca Cola. Coca Cola. The eggs are not bad. It can't eat. It can't eat. God bless the egg. Oh my God. I was so worried about breakfast. Okay guys, so we're walking the streets of Santiago. We're going to meet, hello miss. Please to walk in front of me. Thank you. For them grab y'all. The man I try also with some internet kids for $5, I'm wicked. I'm wicked. Now I gotta work with him. But we're in the streets of Santiago. So we're walking to the bus right now to meet the bus to do the tour. Also the bus here. Whew. Yes, Lord. In my record, you know. So now, Kevin, I'm gonna get leak. Good morning. Cuba. Five star 
perform well at all. This look just like Cuba in the movie them. I saw Cuba still in the movie with you. Just see him sort of, see him sort of Cuba. Watch Cuba man. Yeah. Oh my God. Now I'm like, want to throw a buckle of paint over here. God no. So guys, we made it to the top. We're on the 15th floor of the Malaya, Malaya Hotel. As you guys can see, this is all of Cuba. <laughs> This is Santiago. That pool down there looks very inviting. I am not gonna lie. But when it comes down to it, I'm not gonna tell you no lie. I want to show a buckle of pain. I want to show a buckle of pain. Thank you, but God, no. I wonder if people sell over here, like them can't fix up. Like, is there a law where say the building them have to remain? Oh, they have been since the years. Like, oh my God, as a communist country, man, me couldn't work with this. No, man. Oh my God. Oh, fabulous. Oh, Domino. Oh, Tanaya, this is cute. Domino. Oh, cute. Oh, Tanaya, come look on the Domino here. It's called Rui. Oh, yes. I'm with that. Boys, boys, boys. You know what I'm saying? It's toy Jamaicano. Yes. 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 For me. No, me no more. No. Come on, come on, get one, get one, get one of the beat, the beat bang. I want the sugar jar. Pure 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 Okay guys, so this is the fort, you know, look a lot all right, yes, sir. They said that there's a beautiful view up right here. So this is the fort. Oh, so was this like a war fort? Are you saw them come, are you saw them war? Ooh. And the bridge, wow. Hola, hola. No bridge? What sword? Pure sword. Pure sword. Here, watch, guys. This says 1532. 1532. Ain't it, Anaya? Fabulous. See what's going on over here. Ooh. Ooh. Awesome. Pure beer world. <laughs> Pure beer well. Pure war, keep out here, so pure war. Pure war, what's your loaded big gun? Pure war, they used to keep out here, so the, ooh. This is beautiful, guys. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, look at the water. Oh my God, look at all of that, guys. Beautiful, it is beautiful. Oh my God. So, in a while ago, boy, you understand me? So it looked like they used to come here, so come spy out. And look when the ship, them are coming and say, yeah, 
click click pow <laughs> click click pow beautiful though absolutely beautiful Alright guys, so we're leaving Dean did I even show them what I was eating? I don't think I showed them what I ate. How was it Tanoya? The best was Kevin. Her best meal. And that is out of them not cook with them not have season over here. No little spices, no little um, right, which is why I said out of right. It doesn't want a little scotch for busting out a little pimento and maybe a ginger and a little flavor. But I had to eat you now because I'm nervous. I'm gonna know how late I will come down. If I don't give me late, I cannot eat. So I'm gonna try for something. So luckily, luckily for me, we're heading back to the hotel now. So if any little meeting need for keep. I don't know me, I don't know me at all, but any little meeting with my stomach need for keep. You know how that go already. Right at the hotel me I go. So yeah, but it wasn't bad though. Food wasn't bad. And the sauce did tangy, but we didn't have to eat it. But that was Moro, and we're leaving the fort now. And yeah, it was a cool experience, I'm not gonna lie. It just at real hot. But I'm gonna talk to you when I get back to the hotel because I learned a lot about Cuba while I was here. So we're in a church, you guys. We're in a church. Oh, it's beautiful in here, actually. Is this a Catholic church, Barbara? It's a Catholic church, okay, I assumed. So over here so now my side, them say, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> over here so them say, this is where you sacrifice the things them. So like if you can't walk, you come and leave your walking stick and then pray over your walking stick, and then by tomorrow you can't walk again a couple days, them say. You just have to believe. Okay. Right. You just have to believe and okay. it will manifest and it will. itself. Okay. Yeah, believe in the Lord. Okay. And that's what will happen but it's a beautiful church though it's a beautiful church it's a beautiful church fabulous the front of the church is amazing the view coming up guys is awesome i wish i caught it but when i sleep on the bus i'm gonna wake up late and when you come up on the bus people just a swam you so pure swimming everybody are also everybody are trying to make a little make up you saw the pew we used to go on Catholic church so many knows when you got in at the pew, you have a Jenny Fleck. <laughs> you have a Jenny Fleck, you have a Anglet. For Anglet Jenny Fleck. Beautiful. What are the style guys? Is too much? We don't have enough money. What is this? What's this? Okay. Alex Kelly. I want that. I don't know what that is. What's another square though guys? I'm gonna play a little music. Community, we're really outside that door. So I walk up and down. Oh, 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 oh. Cubano, Cubano. Santiago, Santiago. Oh, any girl come by your snacks, you know? Look at girl come by your snacks. No man, Alicia, you're a ball, man. You're balling. Wow, so much fun. <laughs> so rich. I'm hungry. Oh, come girl, buy, buy a brinky. I want this, you can't buy me this. What do you want to buy? When you buy an odd sweetie, three odd sweetie. You know what I'm gonna say, three odd sweetie? Una siempre. Why guys, I want to take one picture with the ass then. I just want to take one picture with the ass then. Let them not stop. I'm gonna give them a little $20 and make them stop. But they yeah, watch and look and see if the bus can move. Because any other bus move, we'll get the job. The boy never wants to play football, you know. This is such. Yeah. This is such a very simple life. The people that are not up themselves with social media and kill up themselves. While we there in Jamaica and kill up ourselves over beer mix up and tear down. And everybody just there sit down and just a vibe and a power and a live peacefully. How was the pizza? Never mind. Never mind. Eat and most of the pizza. Not bad. What am I going to see? Oh. Mm -hmm. 
to you. Bread and cheese. It's alright. Yeah, it's just bread and cheese. Is that regular? Is that regular? It just look cheese like, pizza. It look like it look like fritters. Yeah. Like it's one of like it's like an older cheese or like a stinky cheese. You get me? It's good. No bad. You just put salt on. How long it take? Ah, uh, it may take about ten minutes. Come, 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 come. That's so that already for now. How much fee is? $70. Okay guys, so we got in and everything. I was supposed to talk to y'all, but I was on the phone with my manager. So we're going to the Tropicana show. They said it's a really huge show here in Cuba. And we're just outside right now, outside the hotel, of course, the Imperial. We're gonna head to the bus right now, but there are a lot of people outside. Pure people, it's like a, it's like a grand market vibes. Pure people, that's a walk up and down. People like ants. People for stew and dog. I don't know so pure people. Pure people. So when we get there guys, I will like give you like snippets of what's going on. They said that there's gonna be like reggaeton, reggae, little Caribbean infused music. But you know when them say Caribbean infused, they're probably like here like a little tempted to touch. A little turn me on as a dance hall. Sean Paul as a dance hall. No like cartel. We are head up there now, my side. We are head up, we are head up. You know something coming to me eat a bun and cheese though. It's a bun and cheese my eat. That's it. Me not eating the dinner, so if I go there, I collapse. And then I send a little, send a little hot dog. You know them little summer day. But now like you, but you have different hungry vibes. The lunch today wasn't bad though, it just is the meat in the season. You know pork normally have a little flavor already, but God know. I don't know what I said, the rice never bad though, the peas and rice. It just wants a little scotch pepper, a little scotch manager pepper for busting on the pot. With a little, you know, a little ginger, and a little pimento tree. But other than that, Cuba Guan. I actually like it here. I like it for what it is and its simplicity. You know, I just don't like the communist dictatorship part and you know them tell you what to do. I mean, the mindset everybody earn the same amount of money. Like there's no rich, there's no poor, I don't mind that. But it has its pros and it has its cons. I think what's holding down this country is its embargo, you know? They need to connect with some other country and build up some other infrastructure and paint the place them, man. Oh my god. Oh my. Anyways, later me on the talk about that because I learned so much about Cuba since I've been here. So we're going to talk about that a little bit later on down. How about we coming back a little bit another night? So guys, we're at the traffic corner show in Santi Santiago. You're a burner boy. You're a burner boy? As my comedian. You say what? I showed him this and he just said me. Okay guys, made it back to the hotel room. They're going to the street dance somewhere out in Santiago. And me, no depend on that, cause when I'm ready to leave, I'm not gonna be able to leave. And last night, they went out to the club and they came back in five this morning. Absolutely not, not doing that. So I came back in. Oh my, I'm a fan from yesterday. Fabulous. Grabbed another cup of soup and I never had dinner because I never had time to go to dinner to then make it to the Tropicana show. So, I eat one of the bun them in my bag. When we got to the Tropicana show, they gave us like little bites and stuff and we got like a, I think this is apple, I don't know. It tastes like apple. Yeah. And uh, look at rum. How about a club? It tastes good. It actually tastes just like, um, what is something in the name? Appleton Special, Kingston 21. 
I saw it name Kitty 21. But yeah, um, I had a very good night actually. The Tropicana show was nice. I can tell that they put on like productions and stuff there based on like the staging and the setup. But yeah, it was cute. And the DJ was bumping. I'm not gonna lie, his transitions were sick from reggaeton to like actual reggae music and couple Beyonce play and look at Cat the Loon and them look at something they go on. I'm going fabulously. But yeah, I had a very good night. What's my, my point I was making? Um, by the way, coming in, are you hearing those people outside? I don't know if you're hearing the people outside my room, but they're like literal kids like outside the room. Walking the streets of Cuba, like this is, the time is now, it is 1.08 a.m. And the road full, pure people. I know it's a Saturday night. Actually, no, it's a Sunday morning. Right through, like night through, them just out there walk up and down and kids. And I'm just like, okay, this is a definitely a different culture. No parental supervision, them just out there walking apart. Them dressed up in them clothes. Are you hearing them? I was walking down to the hotel and I was just like, wait, there are a lot of kids out here. Anyways, as I was speaking about Cuba earlier before I got onto the bus, I actually learned a lot of stuff while being here and it just made me appreciate even more just like Jamaica and all of we have and all that we have because really and truly it's a luxury. Um, this of course is a dictatorship, it's a communist country so a lot of things are just told to them and they have to do it. And I'm getting to understand like even hotels here, they of course Spanish, you know, privately owned come they bring their hotels and stuff, but they still have to give 50% to the government. The government literally funds everything here. Light is free, water is free, you know? Um, education is free. I'm telling you, your bachelor's, your master's, everything is free. So they ensure that you're educated. So a lot of the people here are smart, which is a majority of the doctors come from here, you know? Even to be a musician or an artist here, like to play an instrument, you have to have a master's. You cannot play an instrument without a master's here. Like, it's a thing. <laughs> I was told like by one of the locals here that everybody gets the same amount of wage and I think it's like equivalent to 35 US dollars. Um, so doctors, lawyers, everybody gets that. I'm not sure if it's the entire Cuba or just certain parts of Cuba because I asked. I'm just like, you know, because even in Santiago where I'm staying, I'm just like, where are the cars? Because I'm driving on the road in the tour bus and I'm just like, I'm not seeing a car up on the road. One or two look a few buggy, but she's saying that those cars are cars that were left back you know and people had a phone kept them or had them from way back when and just maintained them you know you might see one or two like a Kia or Hyundai but they're not like Jamaican luxury you understand they're still a little bit ugh. but those are like cars that executives you know might get and these are people from like the hotel industry because you know they might get like a pass because I'm just like how how does that work you know so there are certain little things you know like directors and them or somebody but as far as it stands like there's no rich and there's no poor everybody has to live on like same level because even looking at the houses I'm just like damn like when I can't even get like a pen or like a nothing like hello but then I was like okay fine there's an embargo on Cuba so a lot of things cannot come into the country I didn't want a little pen you know because I, th I personally think it's beautiful. I think Cuba is beautiful how it is. It just want to keep and care. Like, like look at pants, and look at building them. My all right to the zinc roof, it, that, that all right. I just look at pants, I just look at paint the place one, God no. But Cuba is clean though. So the paint, the place might look like a you understand? But it's because it's not well maintained, you understand? But the roads are clean, like there's no garbage on the road. Them have a fly problem though. Them have a fly problem. Them have a fly problem. Them have a fly problem. Fly there everywhere. I mean, the whole fly region of the hotel around the food. Pure fly. My dad, the stall man, pure fly. I pitch from the sweetie. On the biscuit, them. Me, I say, my God, this can't work. Can't work. Wi Fi is not here as well. Actually, there's Wi Fi in the hotel. But like Wi Fi at like main areas, there's like it's like a we have restaurant with Wi Fi them something them not have that. Them not them not have that. Them not have that. Them not have that. Wi Fi near the hotel though, but it's like for a limited amount of time. So you get up a, a username and a code and you will get say up to four hours. You understand? They refresh it. So you come back again and you might get a next like, like two hours. All right now I have I think one hour and thirty minutes left on this refreshed one. So yesterday was four hours, today's two hours, but I was on the road for most of the day. 
today so I never use all the Wi-Fi but yeah it's just a different a whole different culture from a democracy the government works for us you know but if you can't have food here you get food stamps the government feeds you either way like you would get like rations and stuff I guess because a lot of them are here it's it's, it's a okay life for a majority of them like it's the norm but it's also the same reason why a lot of people want to leave you but you know it's a lot of them escaping and stuff yeah even the doctors that go to jamaica like when the government pays the doctors that work in the public hospitals that are cuban the government here gets 50 percent of that because i'm like how is the country able to sustain itself it has to be earning back from its people but they also make a lot of stuff here though like chocolates cigars um rum you know they export those kind of stuff so they're able to earn from that but it's an interesting culture i'm happy i came i don't regret the trip i don't i don't regret the trip a lot of persons were saying i should have gone to like havana and stuff but at the end of the day i'm gonna regret it i'm not gonna lie to you looking forward to tomorrow i think i'm gonna do my own little thing tomorrow because even though it's a sunday maybe not a lot of places are open but i want to try like some you know first at first i need to try some taste good food okay lunch wasn't bad today but them just not cooking the seasoning because they're not having a seasoning and i'm like when i have so much london vegetation here like why don't i plant the things there look at pimento look at ginger look at scotch bun it work come on them not have no spice and like the whole of the chicken them boil up here pure boiled chicken chicken white white man can't eat though but the first night the food had a smell couldn't eat that but pick pick but i couldn't eat it but god bless the little cup soup that mama have and a little bun and a little chips it will carry me until we leave for the hour on monday so i'm looking forward to tomorrow i'm gonna lie down now edit my little content and stuff for show up i'm gonna be backlogged on tiktok content because the tickers only work on certain wi-fi so like the airport wi-fi it worked on the little bandula so i'm do but by the time I reach the arm, I can't upload. Everything else is out on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. So, make a little now. Edit up my things them. And take a little nap. And I'll meet up tomorrow again out in the streets of San Siango. But I really hope you guys have been enjoying the vlog and the content. And I am looking forward to the air trip. Because I know their food tastes good. But no, fear fuck. <coughs> fear fuck. Good morning, good Cuba. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you, and how do you do? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Santo de Cuba! Right, anyways, so it is the dos in es Santa Domingo. We are in Santo. Santiago de Cuba! Anyways, so I can walk up and down. This is the old, oh, oh, I'm gonna put on the shoes here, but I'm not still walking. Understand me? Simple, airy, effective. That's the shoes for today. But, ah! I'm gonna try to acclimate myself today. I'm gonna walk up and down low and see what the locals are doing. I'm trying to find a nice little local space where we can just eat some decent food. Um, there are some persons here who said they met a guy yesterday who brought him to an amazing restaurant. But the place closed today. And they said the food actually tasted good. So we're on a mission today. Find some really good food. Okay, that's the mission. Something close to Jamaica and something with seasoning. The people said them all get plant and chips as them appetizer, beer stuffs, Vivi, Vivi the woman name, and I'm a man with the man name, but Vivi angle them. Anyways, we're gonna walk up and down and see why I keep out of the streets and see what the vibes is like. You understand me? That's the buzz for today. That's the mo, and just see if we can discover some, you know, little fun things along the street. I'm not gonna hear music this morning. On oh, Sunday. Hey, last night I'ma come over. I'ma sit down and picking them down. So that talk loud, you know, in the streets. Beer, little picnic. One o'clock in the morning. You're talking. I said, no, man, them not go home. Them parents not look for them. This is such a whole different culture. Anyways, how we this? See you in the streets. The streets always have people that are walk up and down. This is Cuba in the daytime. You understand? Oh, glasses. Oh, her. Giving vacation mommy for real. Travel mommy. Travel mommy. Travel mommy. Yeah. Travel puppy. Tumble puppy, <laughs> don't kill me. So we found a little spot down the road. Um, this is what it's giving. Uh -huh. 
What is so? What is it? What is it? Is it chicken and fries? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't have no fries. <laughs> We're trying to get some pizza tonight. <laughs> Topino. What kind of Topino you have? <laughs> Please do me a bigger car. We have struggle. We really have struggle. We're the keeper. So We're gonna, I, no, turn on your order. Yeah. Pour your, turn on your order. Pour your frito yeah. and, and two pizza. Yeah. Your... Tres pollo frito and dos pizza. No, uno pollo frito. Un pollo frito. Uno and dos pizza. Ah, we can tip us the pizza. What type? Turn on, yeah, nah, go with the tapping you know. There's a bug in the chicken. Uh. Yeah, there's a bug there. So we are gonna do. So this is pollo, frito, uh, queso pizza. This is jamón. Si. Jamón. So, pizza not bad, I'm not tell you a lie. The arm tastes like um, some of the arm, box arm, like spam. But the fried chicken is actually surprisingly very good. Tastes like fried chicken, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's just that there's a, there was a bug in the fried chicken. They have a fly problem over here. I'm not going to tell them no lie. I'm not going to hide on top. They have a, they have a fly problem. In you know, the hotel, they have dinner, fly. Restaurant, okay. fly. Literally. Fly, just pure fly. They have a fly issue. Fly just them over the place are far. Like. But it's not bad though. I would have done less with the sauce that's on it. I think it's just too much. It don't taste bad. It's just too much sauce. But. Pizza can't eat. Them could give me a thick crust though. I'm a colour one, you know. Them have a look of them have a them have a them have a look of fly issue man. Them have a fly issue man. But we just done eat, you know, had some hamon pizza and some queso pizza and some pollo frito. So I walk up and I'm gonna look at Sunday now, so the streets are so which I don't mind because I don't mind going back to the hotel right now and lying down. You understand what I say? But Boy, outside at see man, they're so rude for this type of eat. You're not done. Tana ya can Tana ya can stay over here, so Tana ya wanga back her yard. Sister, she's so ready to go back home and she can't understand why they have so much fly. She not eat nothing from Sharage. This is cute though. Instagram. Go look and go look, go look Peter like it from my Instagram. So we're here. I'm gonna kill the doll. Make one post on her Instagram earlier. She is so over it. The girl said, I am so hungry. Walk with your snacks and sauces. Piss! Oh, that's ice cream. Oh, I love that. I'm ready to have that. But I just want some Oh to reach. Remember you can have a team. I'm just ready now on my side. Un momento, un momento. Un momento.
You know my chip just like a while ago. So I tell the man said make sure soup is way gone. This is a juice. Soup qual. Eat a cold soup. And the soup actually tastes good. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I love it. Alright, try something else. Try the fish. Try the fish. Try the fish. <laughs> No, no, do you want to know in the summer? Are you up any getting stones? Are you up any getting stones? I'm the fish. The fish is not bad, though. The fish is bad. Why is that going? That's a white door. I'm going to upset my stomach. I'm going to upset my stomach. It tastes like a, um, a, a tart. Yes, yeah, it's like, like a, a plant, a in, like a strawberry tart. This lit at night is also this gorgeous. Oh. oh, it looks good at night. Banco Nacional de Cuba, that is the National Bank of Cuba. That's what that means, right? I think so. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so So I don't know what I'm going right? Me? I'm going in. Me and I'm going to stay up with them. I'm not going to stay up with them. What's that? I look a part store. Rapid True Valley, you kill me now. Why am I recording? Why am I doing that? I'm recording now. On the phone, the little boy. Oh, right. Anyways, what kiss? No, man, up here. Oh, and I kiss me here. Anyways, <laughs> me and I go stay here so with them for the whole night. I don't know, Kevin, I've not done. Me, I've done. Me, I'm going to my bed. My, we may wake up 6 o'clock tomorrow. 5 30. 5 30. Because we leave 6 to go up at the airport. So I'm going to organize myself, go up, take a fresh, organize myself. And I made that. Cause them, them never done for now. When I, so I can't manage this. Me not gonna, me not gonna work with them. Me have to go up and lie down. I organize myself, put my stuff together. Them really not have not done. Oh my God, they are fresh. You can't go to sleepy. Of course. Tomorrow. Yeah, man, never soon at the airport. They can't sleep on the plane, but how long is the flight? Okay, so back to the hotel, made it, packed and everything, as you guys can see. Organized up. That's the shoes I'm wearing tomorrow. The green one is gonna go in the back of that breeze out now. That's my dirty clothes over there. With my little travel on. Carry on, I should say. The cap I'm wearing tomorrow, and that's it. Section clean, tidy. Ready to leave out, ready to depart. You know, Kevin, I'm not, not done, so I'm probably gonna stay up all night until 6 o'clock because we're leaving here at 6 to get to the airport. Flight is at 9, and I think the flight to DR is about an hour away. Um, I have some water right here, and 
Full of the chips, so I'm gonna bring from Jamaica. The time is now 1.06 a.m. and I'm gonna lay down now. Um, full overview of the trip. It wasn't bad. I had a good time. I've been consistent in saying that I like Cuba. Would I come back? Yes. On my own money? No, probably not. If somebody invited me. And then I'll go probably to like a different part of Cuba. You know, like if somebody I keep on a cover your trip and I'm saying, oh, we got you. Yeah, forward. Probably out in a Havana, but it was nice. I like Cuba. It's very clean. The people are very peaceful and like hospitable. And I'm just like, this, where we are, Santiago de Cuba, it's just so, I wonder if them have crime on them someday. It doesn't, it doesn't seem that way. I guess because everybody is on the same level, you know? So there's no need to ban my next man for your next thing because everybody else to try and make it. You understand? Crazy because would they have make a look who rich and who poor and who have this and who not have this and who focus on the next man and them just there just a bill. You know, just enjoy life. Like the people are just so friendly. Like I haven't met somebody who's like in a bad spirit or in a bad mood. I don't know. I cannot say. I don't know if it's if it's, 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 it's where in Cuba I'm currently at, but I, mean, I don't know. It's nice. Very peaceful. Just simple. You know. And they just seem so happy. I'm really glad I came and I really, I'm really glad I was able to like immerse myself in like a whole different culture and I love the music, like the music does make you want to dance, like it just makes you feel good, like you just don't want to stop moving, so you know, I like it. I'm gonna need for brush up from a Spanish though because I got a one, I got a one in Spanish and you know, people make it a one in a Spanish. I'm gonna ask, you know, I'm gonna start the class at everything. I'm gonna remember the teacher name though, but I'm gonna get a one. But my rusty bad, rusty man. Rusty, but I had a time. Most definitely, would I recommend P persons to come? Most definitely. Um, the only pro tip though is walk with your food, like your little knickknacks. Them, like you know, your little crackers, your little. If you eat sardine, bring a little sardine. If you eat, bring a little tin sausage. You know, things for whole. Yeah. There are restaurants here because even dinner tonight, dinner tonight for me wasn't bad. You know, but certain people are very picky when it comes to their stomach. Like, Tanaya can't eat it because she eats with her eye and she eats with her, like, she smells those things different from other people. So, like, taste buds is a hell of a thing, you know? And senses are a hell of a thing because my senses are different from yours and your body reacts to different things, you know? But definitely for the first night, I could not eat that because of the smell, for sure. Um, was it the best? No. Was it like super flavorful? No, but you eat something for sustainer. Right now, I'm gonna have a little cramp in my stomach. Like, I'm gonna feel something in my joke it. So I'm gonna know something in my stomach at work. Right now, to try and maintain some sort of levels in there. I really ate for sustenance. The dessert was good though. But as I said, overall, very good trip. Um, pro tip again, bring your own food. Where I'm at, there are people every now and then like they're trying to sell you stuff. They're just trying to hustle because they don't really have it like that, some of them. The country is rich in a lot of history and we met someone by the name of Fred. Fred, show you around the place, man. And I'm carry I got a spot. Fred know everybody. You always have a man like that in every single country where you go. That was um Ericsson. That was Ericsson when we went to Curacao. But I'ma see y'all in the at the airport in the morning. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little vloggy vlog that I put together. Um most definitely look out for the DR vlog. And as I said, guys, please support all the content on all my platforms. Go like them, go engage, leave a comment, you know, show it some love and I'll see you guys in the morning. I never got that bit right now. We're up early in the morning. It's time to go. Bye, Imperial. The bus is here to carry us back. It was fun, Cuba. See you soon. See you, see you soon. See you soon. Ugh. As I was saying, guys, had a time. We'll be back soon. Uh, Take care of mucho, Cuba. Take care of I love you so much, Cuba. That's all. Take care of mucho. Take care of mucho. I love that. I love them. It's nice. It's very peaceful. Amo, 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 amo Cuba. Te amo Cuba. The door open. Yep. Out of ten, Kev. Out of ten.
I was gonna say seven too. Yeah. I was gonna say seven. Say oh, so. It's not. It's not You know, I'm not done. That, no that's with you. Peso. No, no, no peso. peso. No peso. You. Casa. You get only for peso. No casa. more peso. We don't have no more. Casa, casa. You get only for peso, man. One, You beg till you're blind, man. Jesus, we don't have nothing else. <laughs> Out of ten. Huh? Um, a seven. Oh, okay, okay, seven too. Eight for the eight for the culture. One for the food. But I said four for the food. Four. Because you're a boy. Right. Anyways, I really hope you guys had a time, ladies and gentlemen. See you when I see you, Kuba. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Follow me on all socials at Quite Perry. Murder. And I will catch you guys in the DR vlog, right, sis? Yeah, moi. Not the moi. Kiss you. And a ciao, baby. Adios. Who cares? Adios. Adios Santiago de Cuba. Right.